Hello, hello, fantastic year six designers. We're going to be finishing off our shadow puppets today and to help you, I'm gonna show you how to attach the sticks. So you either made a shadow puppet that was opaque or a shadow puppet that was translucent where the light is gonna shine through. So you need to put your sticks on to move your puppets in slightly different ways. I'm gonna show you on the black shadow puppet first. Let's start by putting together our moving parts. So in my case, this is an arm. It might be a leg on yours. It could be a, uh, I don't know, part of a ferocious beast you want to move. So we're just going to look at how this all fits together and remind ourselves. That's it. Perfect. And we're going to start making holes. And to do this, we get a bit of plasticine or blue tack. And then we get a push pin and we make our initial hole. We do the same to the bit that we're joining it onto and then we can widen that hole we could use a little bit of a craft knife on there or what's easiest and I think better on this is to put a pencil through so you've already got that guide hole you don't want to make this enormous be careful it's best to start off small and make it bigger as you go now this is a um, split pin so it's a, a pin that's got two ends to it and you open that up and there we go and push it down and then that is joined on perfectly the only thing we need to do is just get rid of any excess um, of the pin here where it's overhanging the edge because that will look ugly and there's no need to have it so this cuts with just a simple pair of scissors any pair of scissors you've got give it a little snip give it a little snip um, as long as it's about a centimetre across, it's plenty wide enough. And there you go. So that is our shoulder to our elbow joint, isn't it? There we go. So we've got our three sections and we're going to add our hand to our wrist here. Same as before. I'm just going to trim that because it was a little bit big. Yeah, that fits better. So same as before, I'm using some uh, blue, blue tack or um, plasticine. I'm making my starting hole in there. Put it on the both pieces that you're joining and then I'm using my pencil just to make that hole a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think use a pencil rather than a knife. I think you get a neater finish, but be careful not to make it too big. Same as before, pushing my pin through onto one, onto the other and open it out, holding it in place. Give it a little trim. Now this will definitely need a trim because it will be really obvious, uh, obviously sticking out there. Little pin. No, be careful, you don't want these flying around the classroom because they could poke people in the eyes. Just be careful. There we go. We've got our hand beautifully joined. So now we're just adding it to the body. And that's why I did that extra little lump there to join it onto um, the body. It just makes it easier to have that. So push pin again into my plasticine or blue tack pencil again to make the hole slightly bigger. Same here with the shoulder joint and we're going to put that on. Push pin through, push pin through. Of course the last one's going to be a pain. There we go. Open it out and snip it off. Um, give each joint a wiggle to make sure it's moving nicely. You want it to be able to move easily. And that just means make it nice and flexible. There we go. So I'm going to show you on the uh, second type of puppet, which is the um, translucent puppet. Very similar. Very similar indeed. Um, we're just going to join those bits. There we go. Exactly the same. I'm using a pin this time to make my holes because I lost my push pin. So I'm using my needle I'm using for later. OK, so both exactly the same for those joints. This is where it starts to be different. OK, when we're attaching the sticks, the black one is easier. I will admit that, okay? It's slightly easier. And I've got these really long canes for you. These are pea canes, and we need to cut these to size. So I want you to lay your cane onto your um, puppet and then draw a little line of where it needs to be cut. You're going to use this saw here, and this is a great little uh, tool here. It's a block to cut onto. 
and this is a way of making sure we get a straight line. So I'm lining up the mark that I made with one of the lines there. I'm inserting the saw across the little box and then I'm just cutting down and this makes sure I get a nice smooth cut and my fingers aren't anywhere near. There you go. So that's cut to size. Do measure it against the puppet first. I'd already done that uh, when I was filming. So you don't need to uh, make mistakes. Just lay it on and give it a little measure there. Just check that that does fit. Yep. And you want it going nearly to the top. It doesn't have to go right to the top, but you do need to have plenty left at the bottom, which is where you're going to hold it. Okay, so this is easy peasy to attach. You're just going to use some tape, basically. Now, you could use any tape you like. I'm going to use black gaffer tape. You could use sellotape. You can use glue as well, but this is just to make it really nice and instant. Um, and gaffer tape's nice and strong. And what I'm doing is I'm splitting it to make lots of little bits. Um, again, I think that's a stronger way of doing it. And I'm being really careful not to cover up any of my cutouts. I, you know, I spent a long time cutting that out with a craft knife. I don't want to have to um, lose any of it by being sloppy now. So I'm just making sure wherever I put my little bits of tape, it's not covering up anything important, anything that I've cut out. And there I go. Perfect. That's nice and secure and that sticks on. So then we're going to be adding another stick onto the hand. But first, let me show you the difference in the way we need to attach our stick to the back of our translucent. We cannot use any sort of tape or glue on this one. Because we use the oil, things like that just won't stick to it. So we have to use a different technique. We're actually going to use some sewing to attach it on. Um, we did some sewing last half term with uh, joining um, moving parts together. Um, it's it's not that much more difficult at all. We just need to think what we're doing. So you need to thread a needle with some of the um, nice sewing um, thread and make a start. So you, what you're going to do is you're going to tie the end on to your stick or you could actually tape this onto the stick because there's no oil on the stick so you could either tie it on and tape it or do both because then you're doubly sure that it's safe and it's not going to slide off so we've attached our thread on one end to the stick and on the other end it's threaded through the needle and we're just going to do some stitches and we're going to go in one side of the stick and come out of the other Oh, being fiddly. So go in, make a hole, and then that's it, make a little hole, and then I'm pulling it through, and then I'm poking it back, or trying to, it's getting caught on uh, Medusa's snakes. Uh, there we go, thank you Medusa. And we're putting it back in there, and so we're doing a stitch either side of the stick and we carry on moving our way down so now we go downwards now i'm going to show you how not to do it i'm doing lovely neat stitches on the back but on the front i'm doing massive stitches the best way to do this is actually the other way around i'll show you in a moment what i mean so i've got quite big stitches there and nice neat ones on the back well no one's going to see the back so we don't really mind uh, what it looks like there, but it would be nice if the front was neat. So again, I'm gonna show you, this is how not to do it. On oh, my front, it's gonna have a really big stitch now. Do you see? Really massive stitch, how big that is. That looks clumsy. So what I'm suggesting is you actually sew it from the front once you've got it going, because you can just do a little stitch there and then move your thread and your needle much further down do the big gap at the back okay do you see that much further down and then we've just got a tiny stitch on the front nice and neat but on the back there's a big stitch and that's fine okay so just stitch all the way down um i actually ended up cutting my thread a little bit short so i don't go all the way down but i suggest you do um because that's uh 
a good way of doing it. And once you get down to the bottom um, and you've done your stitching all the way down, you can see I've got the very uneven stitches there. Okay, and once you've done that, you just take the needle off and then you wrap it around the stick a few times and tie it off. See, I've split my thread and I can just tuck it under the stick and wrap it round and do a few knots. Um, definitely two, if not three, always uh, safety first. You don't want it all to come undone after all that hard work sewing it. So it is a bit more complicated, obviously, than doing the black um, opaque one. Um, you know, it would be cool to be able to do it in the same way, but you can't. But then I think it takes longer to do the cutout than it does to do the colouring in. So what you lose on one, you gain on the other. Now, I have put a couple of bits of tape on there to make it extra strong so it doesn't slip. And I can do that on the stick and on the th on the thread. I just can't do it on the cardboard. So now our puppets have got um, sticks on the back. I need to show you how to put the stick on the moving part. This is the bit you want to be able to move around. So you need to have another stick so you can control the actions. Um, so we've got smaller sticks for you for these ones. You don't need to cut these. These are pretty well to size. You'll recognise them because they've got little points on them. And we're just going to join it onto there. Now the way we're going to do it, you could just put a piece of tape straight over the top and that would work fine. But I think this works better, that you're making a kind of uh, little loop for it. I've split a piece of tape again, so I can make sure it's not too big for the hand. I've stuck that on, and now I'm taking my stick a little bit higher up, and then I'm kind of making a sandwich, putting the bit of tape back down. This is so I've got a bit of what I call wiggle room, really. Um, if you just stick it straight to the hand, then you can't move it as easily. It hasn't got as much um, motion to it. This gives it a lot more motion. Do you see how having it uh, so it's a bit more floppy around there? I can twist my angles around and uh, put it in all sorts of different positions. There we go. Hello. Have a little practice there. And if you've um, done this puppet, this is it. That's finished. You've added your stick you've added your uh, additional stick for the piece that you want to move the puppetry again slightly different with this because we can't use that tape on it but we're going to do um, a clever little thing we're going to make a hole we're going to put a pin through so I'm going to use my uh, pencil to make it a bit bigger poke a pin through and I'm going to attach a little bit of thread to this. So I'm opening it out. Again, I'll need to cut this back, the excess bits of the pin. We don't need. Now, very simply, I'm going to wrap a bit of thread around this a few times and tie it on. Make sure it moves nicely. Okay, here's my bit of thread and I'm just wrapping it around making sure it gets caught underneath. I'm doing that a couple of times. Mm, misbehaving. There we go, underneath. Come on, there we go, round and round. Round a few times and tie it off and snip it off. There we go, don't need all of that. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap this around our stick with a bit of tape. And again, you can use any tape that you want. But I've got my thread and I've caught it there onto my stick. So that's not tricky. That's nowhere near uh, as tricky as having to stitch it all and things. But again, having that little bit of movement there by having a bit of thread sticking out and not having it really tight um, means that you can do more interesting movements and actions with it. And I'm just doing a bit of extra tape there because why not? I don't want it to slip. I've worked really hard on it. I don't want it to break now. And there you go. That's great. That's our second puppet complete. So that's how we do it, boys and girls. Hello. 
There's my Medusa done. So once you've done this, you can have a play with the screens and the lanterns and, and see what they look like. I think they're going to look fantastic. Goodbye, Medusa. And, oh, you're Medusa as well. So goodbye, Medusa again. Have a little play. See how you work them all. Uh, and enjoy doing that. Can't wait to see what you've done, everybody. Take care. Bye.